Do you play Monopoly or did you? Play? When I was young, I played a lot of Monopoly. Yeah, yeah with uh, my uh, friends, and uh, today less. Yeah. Yeah. Last time, I played Monopoly against the German master. <laughs> I, 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 I realized, okay, there's more behind Monopoly than I thought. <laughs> a lot more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I've noticed a lot of similarities between Monopoly and Settlers. Um, perhaps the trading, yeah. yeah. When I, I realized that in my um, youth, we never trade. Yeah. When, when we played Monopoly and then when I played the Swiss this master of Monopoly, uh, we trade a lot, yeah, I think. Right. Or in the case of Catan, you need direct resources, so directly uh, sure. trading and building with these resources. What type of trader are you? Are you generous or are you stingy? More generous. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Does that strategy work for you? I'm not, I'm, I'm more an, an intuitive player, so mm -hmm. I say, okay, I love it in the evening to have a little glass of red wine, red wine, and then uh, play. But not, uh, it's that not my first goal just to win that game, yeah. sondern mm -hmm. to experience that game. And yeah, this is uh, with all the games I, I play. Yeah. I, I like it uh, when mm -hmm. I win, but uh, that's just not my goal for me. Now, when you watch players, I mean, Catan, of course, you never expected would be a tournament game. Mm -hmm. But the tournaments of Catan are very, very serious. Yeah. How do you, you know, how do you feel when you watch, do you watch the tournament sometimes? Yeah, sometimes. Um, I think four years ago or five years ago uh, was an idea from someone, I don't know, I should play against the um, last group of the um, world masters. Okay, <laughs> it's bad when I will be the first, it's bad when I will be the, the second, the, the last. I was the, um, with someone together, I was the last, but, but I had a partner to be the last, this was okay. <laughs> so, um, do you try the longest road strategy? No, no I, uh, I never built the longest road at the beginning of the game, this is a big mistake. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I wait for the moment when it makes sense now to connect to uh, streets, um, I think uh, it's the most uh, uh, mistake um, beginners make, make right. uh, to build it too early. Yeah, to put the resources in the wrong place. Yeah, you, you, you um, get no resources for, for the longest road. Yeah. Yeah. I was talking with someone, um, a, a new publisher, and we're talking about business a lot being having so much in common with games. Do you think anything from your family business influenced your game design? My family business? The, the dentistry. Yeah, a little bit that I, I have learned to model something. Mm -hmm. And so the, the rubbers of Catan or Räuber of Teuber, the rubbers of Teuber, I modeled them. And this is uh, and the 3D version of Catan, I modeled the landscapes. And um, you know that? I don't know. Oh, I have seen it. Yeah, yeah it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and this was, a, this was a connection to my former former uh, profession. Could you explain that a little further? What you, what type of modeling? 3D modeling? Or, yeah, or? 3D modeling. Yeah, but when you are a dentist, you learn it with wax, wax mm -hmm. to build up little figures or sure. something else, and uh, add on technique. And uh, this was uh, I enjoyed that when I uh, was a uh, dentist. Right more fun to m make such figures than a uh, uh, cheese. Right. <laughs> did, speaking of figures, did you ever do any role-playing Dungeons and Dragons? Or yeah, no, I, I, I love that. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, on the computer too and um, also um, uh, 20 years ago we played a little bit that role-playing game also in a, in a group. Yeah, with Dungeons and Dragons? I think it was Schwarze Auge. My, my, my okay. Um, because there's definitely that help. Did you ever play any of the collectible card games, Magic? No, or no. I, I played it once times, but I didn't uh, collect it. Yeah. And it uh, was for me, uh, I, I like it, it's a very good game, uh, Magic. But um, I, to learn new games, I have to play a lot of games. Yeah. And so I have no special game where I say, okay, I, play, I will play that each day. Uh, mm -hmm. There's no time for that. Um, I think um, when we start in America, also in Mafia, um, yeah. then um, Catan was very small right. and there were more war games and tabletop games and I think this uh, Monopoly 
but other family games, I think this market was very yes. uh, small, no? yeah. and it was a development started with Catan, then Carcassonne, and then uh, Dominion, and so weiter. I think uh, mm -hmm. this was an, uh, mm -hmm. it's fine, fine to see that. <laughs> yeah. So tell me a little bit about Essen, and then I can let you go. <laughs> okay, I'm in Essen since 1986. Uh, it, uh, I think the first toy fair started six years ago mm -hmm. and it was very small and from year to year it disbanded. But um, the idea was the same from the beginning, to let people play, to uh, bring them together and to explain games right. and that they can learn games and so it's not um, less a, a, a business fair, it's more a gaming fair and then the wonderful thing. <laughs> um, Reiner Knizia, mm -hmm. I think I have not interviewed him yet, but yeah. you two seem to have very different personalities. Me and he? Yeah. And, uh, I think so, yeah. I think um, he is uh, very successful with his games. I think he has an another start. Yeah, it's, it's more. Um, he's very good in logic and uh, to develop, develop it in a logic system. Mm -hmm. And I'm more from the intuitive side. So say I need a story, and I bring the game from the story. I will, um, yeah, tell the story in a game. Experience that uh, story in the game. And and Rainer, I think he's more uh, like Sid Saxon, very good in uh, logic. Uh, now, some people would argue that the Americans are very good at the storytelling. Do you find that's true, that they bring that to the games? Or you can say no. Yeah, I think uh, Dominion yeah, yeah. is uh, a very good uh, um, uh, example for that, that uh, storytelling is very good mm -hmm. in that game. You have an atmosphere uh, with the cards, with the, the um, 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 pictures. And, yeah. Yeah. Have you seen sort of things going back and forth between American designers and, Euro and European designers? Yeah, I think it's um, fruchtbar in German. Um, uh, <laughs> this is one word I miss. <laughs> and when um, it's not only the American and the German, and also the Czech Re Republic, there are oh. a lot of uh, uh, very, very skilled authors. And I think they help together, bring together the gaming scene in a higher level. <laughs> yeah. Now, does that mean the games are getting more sophisticated and more difficult to play? or? Yeah, more, um, the, um, when I remember 20 year, uh, when 25 years ago there were less sophisticated uh, games and mm -hmm. um, now the market is bigger and the chance for such games uh, is, is uh, yeah, very good to release them. Yeah. Now, have you collaborated with any designers? No, not yet, but the first time uh, with my son Benny, we started to, to, to develop together a game. How and, is that? Uh, so it was a little bit uh, education for him also how to do it, and he's fun, he has fun to do that. He likes that very much. Yeah. We will see, perhaps <laughs> it will be published in two years. Uh, well, good. Congratulations.